Well, just on the heels of the announcement from Tyler Reddick just a few days ago, we have now had another Chevrolet driver announce that they'll be leaving the team that they're with this season. That is Ty Dillon, the grandson of Richard Childress. It's very ironic that this is happening. He has announced today him and Petty GMS Racing have announced that Ty Dillon will mutually part ways with the 42 team at the conclusion of the 2022 season. Now, Ty Dillon, of course, is the brother of Austin Dillon, grandson of Richard Childress. He has stepped away from the RCR group for quite a while now. For the longest part of his career, he was with Jermaine Racing in a 13 car. And then at the conclusion of the 2020 season, when that team shut down, uh, he went into a place where he was just kind of having a few rides here and there in the best equipment that he could get. He even had some rides of Joe Gibbs Racing back last year, but he was one of the few drivers who could not win in that 54 car while many others did find victory lane. Now, then here in the 2022 season, he has joined Petty GMS Racing, actually was their first driver when GMS Racing announced that they would be going cup racing, originally supposed to drive the 94 car, and then when the merger of Petty happened, uh, he went to the 42 car while Eric Jones remained in the 43. Now, when you side those two beside each other with their stats, Ty Dillon, well, he's had a less than stellar season, as I don't think a lot of people are too surprised to see. Ty Dillon's only had one top 10 this season in 19 races, whereas Eric Jones has been able to get six top 10s and two top fives. And for what we know petty equipment to have been these last few years, Eric Jones getting that is way more impressive than Ty Dillon's one top 10. Ironically enough, when this announcement has happened, we've seen Richard Petty, for some reason, out on Twitter tweeting, I've had enough, and that's it, I'm giving you the bird. And people are scratching their head. Uh, oddly enough, quoting Richard Childress saying the timing could not be any more unfortunate. But after digging some, it looks as though this is in relation to some unrelated uh, sponsorship work with the folks at Hardy's to promote their chicken tender. So kind of unfortunate timing situation there. But yeah, Ty Dillon has announced that they will be leaving the 42 car at the end of the 2022 season. Now, first of all, what I think is going to happen to Ty Dillon in this situation, I don't know. Uh, possibly, uh, he could go to RCR in an Xfinity alliance for next year, whether that be driving an RCR branded number three car, which he has done in the past, or could he possibly go over to Big Machine Records number 48 entry that we've seen several drivers like Austin Dillon and Tyler Reddick running in in this season? I think that's probably the more likely option for Ty Dillon. I think you would likely see him go to that 48 car. Would he be full-time? Possibly depends on the funding. Uh, he could probably definitely be a part-time entry. And who knows? Maybe we'll see him part-time some in a 48 car. Maybe we'll see him some in a three car. Maybe... We've seen the three car come back this season of Jeffrey Earnhardt. Uh, maybe we could see Ty Dillon show up in that three car a few more races next season. And of course, you know, now that the eight car is open in 2024, you have to imagine that could potentially put Ty Dillon in that talks for that car. I know a lot of people, the first thing they said, oh, Pop Pop loves the grandbabies. Maybe, maybe this is how we get both Dylan brothers eventually back of RCR. But I kind of don't think that's going to happen. A lot of people often said that Ty Dylan of the two Dylan brothers is the one who has tried to do it on his own for the most part. And I can definitely say that. I would not expect him to be the primary candidate for that eight car in 2024. But who is now going to be the primary target for that 42 car? The first name that a lot of people have initially went to is Noah Gregson. Now, he originally was now, literally only a few days ago, the number one candidate for that eight car in 2024. Well, maybe now we might find other people that would be a candidate for the eight car. The 42 car appears to be, for now, Noah Gregson's to take. Of course, anything can and is likely to change before next season, but all we do know is it won't be Ty Dillon driving the 42 car next year, but this could be a great opportunity for Noah Gregson to finally get that step up into the NASCAR Cup Series. Maybe it wouldn't be the greatest equipment in the world for Noah to get his official rookie start in, but it would be an opportunity for him to come race full time. I think that could be a likely scenario to see Noah Gregson make that move to the 42 car, but I don't know what you guys think, so feel free to let me know down in the comment section below who you guys think is going to be the driver of the 42 car next season, because as we know now, it will not be Ty Dillon. There's a lot that still can and might happen still in this crazy NASCAR silly season that we're already finding ourselves in as we prepare for not just next year, but 2024. 
And I'm here to help you guys kind of break it down, understand a little bit from the fans point of view. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comment section, who do you guys think is a likely candidate to take over that 42 car? Who would you like to see driving the 42 car next season? What do you think happens to Ty Dillon? Do you think he goes into a more serious Xfinity role before maybe possibly uh, looking at other options for 2024? What do you guys think happens to him? Does he potentially get out of racing as a driver altogether and go into more of a management role like his dad, Mike Dillon, has? So again, feel free to chime in the comment section below what you guys think is going to happen next. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel for more NASCAR news and other motorsports content here on my channel. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.